Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another experiment very important in physics. And that is determination of focal length and nature of images formed by convex lens. You know, we have convex lens, which we call convergent lens. And we have concave lens, which we call divergent lens. So this video or this experiment will focus on determination of focal length and nature of images formed by what? Convex lens. It has the objective, as shown on the board, to determine the nature of image formed by converging lens and focal length of that converging lens. Look at the apparatus setup. This is the object. This is the ray bus. The object is taken to be a broom. A broom. Yes, a broomstick. This is the lens holder. This is the lens itself. This is the image. And this is the screen. This is the table stand where the whole thing is being set up. And this is the meter room. Now, look at the procedure. The procedure goes this way. Place the lens on the lens holder and use it to project an image of the window or a light source as far as 10 meters or more from the lens on the screen by adjusting the screen until a sharp image of the object is obtained. Measure and record the distance VO of the screen from the lens. That is one. Once we get that VO, we note it. Place an object, say a broomstick, over the hole of the ray bus and set up the ray bus lens and screen as shown in diagram above. Adjust the height of the lens object and screen so that their heights are the same. Place the screen at a distance of 110cm from the object. Place the lens on holder very close to the screen and move the lens away from the screen until a sharp a sharp image of the object is observed on the screen. Record the distance of the object from the lens as U and the distance of the image from the lens as V. With the screen and object at the same position in 3. With the screen and object at the same position in this II. II. Move the lens closer to the object until a sharp image is formed on the screen. Again, record U and V. Repeat 2 and 3 for D equals to 100 cm, 90 cm, 80 cm, 70 cm, 60 cm. Tablate your results. Now, the essence of this experiment we are demonstrating this then is to see how you can perform this without touching apparatus okay and so we want to go into how do we get our table of values with without us bringing this equipment and start demonstrating it so we call it operation don't touch apparatus yes we want to perform it without touching the equipment so to speak okay let's see how to do it now, the essence of the first procedure is for us to get our VO, which will be called the focal length of that word, convex lens. That is the essence. Now, because this convex lens has a range, the focal length of a convex lens has a range, we will not waste our time doing it because we are trying to perform it without touching apparatus. So what we will do is I will say the range of focal length is equal to 13 to what? 15 watts. The, um, the focal length of a convex lens ranging between 13 to 15 cm. Now, what we do is I will pick a value here as what we will be using. I pick 14 cm, but it must be in this range. Okay. Then, what I will remember is that 
They said G is 100 and what? 10 cm. And the D dimension here simply mean D equals to the distance of the object plus the distance of the image. That is what they say it is 100 cm. So, uh, 110 cm. And so we say 110 is equal to U D plus what? V D. We can make U the subject of formula. We say therefore U D equal to 110 minus V D. Okay? And you still remember that our last formula is 1 over this plus 1 over what? V. Okay? Where u is 110 minus vd, we say 1 over f equals 1 over 110 minus vd. Where the 110 is your d. So let's still put it as our d. But we should know that in this case, 110 is your d. 100 d. 90 as the say in the procedure then plus what one over what v looking for lcm lcm you'll be having that one over f is equal to d minus v d and v d this divide this will give me v d plus this divide is will give me d minus v d. And so this will cancel this, leaving you with d only. Right? So this times this will be what? V d. D v d. This v d means image distance. Are you getting it? Image distance. So we have to make it to be very tiny. Okay? This times is minus V D squared. Then this is D equals to 1 over what? F. So when I say cross multiply, this times is will be what? F D equals to F D equals to D V D minus v d squared and so what we'll be having is we will now say take this to this side we have v d squared take this to this we have d v d then take this this is here this will remain here plus f d equals to zero so we'll be using this formula to do our work solving. Solving this using quadratic equation. Resolving this using quadratic equation, we solve ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. This is one. That means our a equal to what? One. Our B, our B equals to minus D, minus D. Our A equal to 1, our B equal to minus D, and our C equals to FD. You can see A1, B minus D, C, F, D. We have gotten what we are to use to solve. We are trying to make v subject of formula v d because this is like x square x so we are trying to make v subject of what formula so resolving v d squared minus d v d plus f d equal to zero using quadratic formula we will be saying that where a is 1, b equal to minus d, and c equals to fd. 
will be having that V D equals to V D equals to minus bracket minus D plus or minus square root of what? B square minus what? B square is what? Minus D squared. Minus 4 times 1 times what? C. FD. All over 2 times 1, 2. So we have it to be V, D equals to D plus or minus square root of D square minus 4 F D all over what 2. Okay, so we'll be taking the one of uh, minus you get so that we can get the value of V D. Okay, someone can take the value of plus, someone can take the value of minus. Are you getting it? But I decided to take the value of minus. Once I'm able to get the one of VD, I'll subtract it from the total, which is the value of D. Once I subtract it, I get the one, one of U. Since we said that U plus V is equals to D. Okay? So I'm using minus here. Okay, so we'll be using the one of minus. You know that the possible value for D is D plus this all over 2 or D minus this all over 2. That doesn't mean you can't use plus. If you use plus, whatever it gives you, you minus it from 1, 1, 10 to get your what? U, D. But if you are using minus, whatever it gives you too, you minus it from 1, 1, 10 to get your what? V, D. Uh, um, to get your U, D as well. Since we said that, U plus V is equal to D. Is equal to D. Which could be 110, 100, 90, 80, and all have you. Okay? So, I am putting now 110 minus square root of 110 all what? Square minus 4 times F. I'm taking my F to be 14 times the 110 all over what two? I will use my calculator to sort it out. I'll say one one zero minus bracket square root bracket one one zero squared. Four times fourteen times one one zero divided by two. That should be giving me sixteen point five. I will say sixteen point five cm. I'll make it to be in one decimal place. Are you getting it? I'll make it to be in one decimal place. I'll make it to be in one decimal place. The reason be that if I make it to be in one decimal place, the centimeter rule we use as a measuring instrument, the reading accuracy is like 0 0.1 cm. That the minimum we can get from it is 0 0.1. That is if you get to zero, get to one, if you get to what? 0, get to 1, get to 2. Here, yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. That means you can get only 0 0.1 cm as the reading accuracy of it. So this is like 16.5. So if you say 16.51, 52, 53, you can't get it with your what? Rural. I guess you can get it 16.55. That is in between 16 and 17. Are you getting it? So, that is how it goes. Remember, we said first thing, compute the inside own, and that's why I say square root of bracket bracket one one zero squared 
minus bracket 4 times 14 times 110 then minus so we are correct so we change this 110 to what 100 they said for 198 we change it to what 100 we follow the same pattern So we'll be having square root of bracket bracket, okay, 100 minus bracket square root of bracket bracket, 100 squared minus bracket 4 times 14 times 100 divided by 2. That will be giving me 16.8. Let's check it again. 100 minus square root bracket bracket 100 squared minus bracket 4 times 14 times 100. divided by 2, 16.8. So if we change it, you have 16.8 cm. That means it's increasing. Are you getting it? Then we go again. We go again. We say that we have to change here to 90. Change here to what? 90. Change here to what? 90 according to the formula. Okay. 90 minus square root bracket bracket. 90 squared minus bracket. 4 times 14 times 90 divided by 2. You have 17.3. 17.3 cm. Then we change here to what? 80. Change here to 80. We say 80 minus square root bracket bracket 80 squared minus. Four times fourteen times eighty divided by two. We have eighteen point one. Are you getting it? Then we'll go again. Change here to what seventy. We change it to 70. We say 70 minus square root bracket bracket 70 squared minus bracket 4 times 14 times 70 divided by 2. We have 19.4, 19.4.